Raging Rob. I'm going to call this one Cancel a Cab, or Canceling on the Cab. Whatever. Why do people call for a cab and then cancel? I'm getting sick of this crap. It takes, it only takes a second to respond to the dispatch. It takes five to ten minutes to go out to the call, call them on the phone. I get all kinds of excuses. I get fake phone numbers. I get sometimes no phone numbers, invalid phone numbers, disconnected, not answering the phone. Jesus. I like the ones that say, oh, I'll be out in five minutes, or not or two minutes. I'll wait 20 minutes for them. I'm not going to give out what company I work for. I have my reasons. I'm not really supposed to give company secrets out. But on the dispatch screen, I got a button that says no show. And I just hit the no show button, send, cancel the call. So I call them no shows is what we're supposed to call them, whatever. Sometimes I have seven, eight no-shows in one night. I mean, this is time wasted here, you know? I like the ones that, uh... Well, I never caught for a cab. At least they're not, like, telling me oh, I'll be out in two minutes. And it turns into 10, 15 minutes, and I just take off. Here's a couple of places. I don't care. I'm going to call these places out. I don't give a shit. Here's a couple of places right here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call out that are famous for this crap. Mark Sports Bar on 43rd Avenue in Peoria and Pantera Strip Club at 43rd Avenue and Indian School Road are famous for this crap. Around the valley we have what they call call boxes. I mean, you don't even have to call a cab. All you gotta do is press a button. They're, they're at bars, they're at fries, grocery stores. All you do is press a button on a box and it automatically dispatches the closest cab in that area. Mark Sports Bar on 43rd Avenue in Peoria I get dispatched there quite a few times. I want to say eight out of ten times I go there, it's a cancel or a no-show. Oh, I'm sorry, we bumped the button. Pantera's, 43rd Avenue and Indian School, is famous for this shit, too. Last night I went to Pantera's. Came up on the thing call box. I'm like, oh, God, here we go again. I want to say seven out of ten times there. It's a cancel. I take a couple of dancers there home three to five nights a week, regular basis. Last night, again, Pantera's. So there's two black guys out there waiting, so they wanted to ride, so I gave them a ride instead. Fuck it. Oh my god, these fucking people. I walked into one bar, got a hold of the bartender, let him know, hey, I call box, you know, I, oh, somebody called for a cab here. Oh, okay. She goes over to the call box and hits it again. I'm like, no, no, you see my ID? I'm the cab driver, okay? I'm the cabbie. I didn't say hit the call box. Oh, I'm sorry. Now some other, now some other driver is going to get dispatched on that call and come to the bar. Well, where's the fare? Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the button. Again. Jeez, they need to get rid of this stupid cat box thing. Just get on the phone and call. Oh, shit. My poor chops are burning. Hold on. Hold on a second. Shit, I got to flip these damn things.
Don't want to burn them. Don't want to burn the damn things. Well, allegedly one time, one guy almost missed his flight because of me. Bad directions or whatever. No, 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 it wasn't directions. I don't know my way around the valley. It was a bad address. That's another thing I'm having a problem with these. Bad addresses. I get to the spot, and there's a fucking address that doesn't even exist. One time I went, a couple nights ago, it was a damn crack house. I'm like, what the hell? A drug addict call? It was an abandoned house. And... This happened another time. I get some fucking veterans bar or something. Wrong address. I never heard of this veterans bar. I fucking been doing this job for about two years now. Never heard of this place. Never. I'm looking at the address. I'm like, okay, that should be around 61st Avenue and Northern. Okay. I'm getting to where the address should be. I'm like, what the hell? There's a warehouse? There's a fucking a fact factory? A semi-truck standing on, sitting on the side of the road? Two o'clock in the morning? Where's the bar? Of course there's no phone number, so I do a cancel. Two weeks later, I get pulled into the office. We got a regular customer at this bar. You were dispatched on a call, and you didn't go in and see at the bar. At the, see, you, know, you didn't go in and get the customer. I'm like... Um, this address doesn't exist. This guy that you did not get, he's a regular. Ooh. Well, he's a regular. He was really pissed he didn't get picked up. I'm sorry. If you call a cab and you are drunk, have somebody write out the address for you. Or something, you know. I need a right address and I need a phone number. That simple. Half the motherfucking times, disconnected, not in service. Shit, it was three nights ago I picked up a call. I was supposed to take somebody to the hospital or whatever. I don't like knocking on doors. Some of these neighborhoods are scary I go into. I don't like knocking on doors. I get a message, knock on door. I'm like, ah, in this particular neighborhood I went to, I don't think so. I'm not stepping on my car or this fucking place. Phone number. Call the number. The number is no longer in service. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Call the number again. Call the number again. No longer is no longer in service. <laughs> Cancel. Hope it wasn't an emergency. I don't know what else to say. I'm raging Rob Hot. Rampage Rob Hot. Whatever. Check out my other videos. I'm going off on everything possible. Sprint, the way they fucked around and drunk idiots and road people on the road driving like morons. I'm going off on everything. Peace.